Hello, my name is Rob Yassensack, and I'm a member of the Education Department at Historic Hudson Valley. I'm joined by Ginger, who is our barn cat at Phillipsburg Manor, and like many of us, she's temporarily working from home these days, too. We would like to demonstrate tinsmithing for you. We think this is an activity that you can do in your own home based on materials that you might have on hand. Tinsmiths in the 18th and early 19th centuries made household items such as cookie cutters, graters, flower scoops, and outdoor items such as candle lanterns. Tinsmiths worked with iron that was dipped in tin. Iron was a very strong material, but it rusts very easily. Tin is a very shiny and reflective material, but it's a very weak metal. So iron dipped in tin produces a very durable material and one that has a pleasing appearance. You probably don't have sheets of tin laying around your house, but you might have heavy-duty aluminum foil, which serves the purposes of our activity perfectly fine. What we will be doing, we'll take a piece of aluminum foil and we'll put a pattern on one side of it. We'll tape it together with the goal of making you know, a candle lantern door, for example. This could be our imaginary candle lantern and I've taped to the front the pattern that I cut earlier today, and that could be the door of our lantern, if you will. I tape the pieces at each corner so that the pattern doesn't slide around and that the dots I create stay in alignment on the back of the foil. You're going to need something to punch the holes. So in this case, I'm using a screwdriver and a hammer, and I'm going to hold the screwdriver with my fingers in the middle, not at the top where I'm actually hitting it. Now, if you've got little ones in your house and you're worried about them using hammers, you could use a, another kind of household object, in my case, a rubber hockey puck. It might be a little safer. It does the job just as easily. An alternative to those methods is to use a thumbtack, in which case you would place the tack on one of the dots and carefully pull the foil upward, making sure that you don't make too big of a hole or tear the foil. And when you're done, you can cut the tape away and pull the paper off, and you're left with just the foil, which I've taped to the front of this jar here already from my pattern earlier today. I'm not sure how well it shows up there when I hold it up to the camera. I did another piece that I attached to this lampshade here, and this piece is a pattern that resembles that of a rose window. It will probably show up a little bit easier when I turn on the lampshade here. And voila, a nice pattern of decorative tin work that's going to make a nice little pattern and I'm probably going to keep on this lampshade here. We hope you've enjoyed this tinsmithing activity and we hope that you have a fun and safe time doing this in your own home. Thank you very much.